Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In today's video, we'll be looking at more examples from chapter 4.3, the remainder theorem. So in example 2, the question says that the expression 4x squared minus px plus 7 leaves a remainder of negative 2 when divided by x minus 3. Find the value of p. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to give a name to this expression and uh, probably let's just call it fx. So fx, mean, uh, fx, fx denotes a function of x and I'm going to let fx be the given expression which is this. And the next thing we're going to do is to try or rather to interpret what it means by it is being divided by x minus 3. So recall that the remainder theorem says that if a polynomial fx is divided by a linear divisor x minus a, then the remainder is f of a. So in this case, we are the divisor. In this case, the divisor is x minus 3 over here. And therefore, using or making use of our understanding from the remainder theorem, we can say that f of 3 is our remainder. Okay, so how did, I, how did I arrive at f of 3? So you just take your divisor, equate it to 0, shift negative 3 to the right hand side, and you, had, you get x of 3. So in this case, what is f of 3? All we need to do is to substitute x equals to 3 into the given expression. So this is what we get. And we can also say that, you know, okay, or maybe let me just simplify this further first. So this is 4 times 9, which is 36, minus 3p plus 7. And, uh, you know, if I can just simplify this a little bit more, I'll just end up with this. Now, since f of 3 is the remainder, so f of 3 is the remainder, And the question also says that the remainder is negative 2. Then therefore, we can say that f of 3 is negative 2. Okay. And, and from here, okay, so from, from equation 1 and equation 2, we can say that they are the same. And therefore negative 3p plus 42 is equals to negative 2 and uh, just rearranging this a little bit we will get okay i think i make, made a little mistake over here this should be 43 instead of 42 okay so just rearranging this a little bit we will get 3p equals to 45 and therefore p is just 15. And there we have it. Now let's move on to example number 3. Given that the expression 2x to the power of 3 plus ax squared plus bx plus c leaves the same remainder when divided by x minus 2 or by x plus 1, prove that a plus b equals to negative 6. So the first thing we're going to do is to similarly, okay, similar to example number 2, let our expression be fx. So let me just write out the, the given expression. So let fx be this. And uh, since f of 2 and f of negative 1 leaves the same remainder, or sorry, or rather is the same, okay, what do I mean by this? So now our divisors, our divisors are x minus 2 and x plus 1. Okay, so to know what to know what to uh, equate we will equate this to zero first and then subsequently solve for our x okay and therefore we can say that f of 2 is equals to f of negative 1 now why is this so because the question says that the function or rather the expression leaves the same remainder when being divided by this x minus 2 or by this x plus 1 so therefore okay probably the, the the key learning point in this example is that f of 2 is equals to f of negative 1 
because of the highlighted fact over here. So the next thing we're going to do is to perform our substitution. So we will substitute on the left hand side of the equation, we'll substitute x equals to 2. Okay, and on the right hand side of the equation, we will substitute x equals to negative 1. Okay, and since we have a C on both sides of the equation, we can eliminate the C. So just minus C on both sides. And then from here, let us simplify. So we have 16 plus 4A plus 2B equals to negative 2 plus A minus B. Okay, and uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shift all the al alphabets to the, or the, or the uh, unknowns rather, to the left hand side of the equation. So I got 4a plus 2b minus a plus b equals to negative 2 minus 16. So I'm shifting 16 over to the right hand side. And uh, simplifying this a little bit further, I'll get this. And this is equals to negative 18. Now, let me just continue over here. The next thing I'll do, I'll factorize out a 3 on the left hand side of the equation. And uh, dividing both sides by 3, I will arrive at the final answer, which is this. And this is what we want. So I'll just put a shown over here. Okay, and that's it. That's, the, that's all for example number 3. Just take note that for example number 3, the key thing here, so let me just highlight this once again that when the, the when the remainders are the same okay we can equate the functions in this given using this given relationship now just to summarize for the remainder theorem so let me just write this here so this is the remainder theorem if a polynomial fx is divided by a linear divisor x minus a then the remainder is f of a. If the divisor is ax minus b, then the remainder is f of b over a. Now probably I just want to remind everyone how we arrive at b over a. So if we were to equate this, the divisor equals to 0, and uh, just shift, shift the terms around a little bit, we will arrive at x equals to b over a. And this explains, it is explains what is given over here. Now, let me just leave you with some practice questions before we end off. So feel free to pause the video here. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see ya.